Okay, for this question, you have to uh, notice that the answer you actually gave me is... Oh, uh, you didn't give me an answer, you didn't do it. Okay, so but then you will see, does the shape have a 4 equal angle? So, if if it's this like that, it's a rectangle, I know that all are actually right angle. Okay, but then if I were to do it, hold one side and then it becomes elongated, you don't know the 4 equal angle will be equal or not. So, at, it's no. Does it have a, a symmetrical um, uh, shape uh, whereby shape that have any nice of symmetry? You know it's called symmetry? You know? When you do it like that, okay? This one can fall over this one exactly the same. Or this one can fall over this one exactly the same. For here, we cannot. Because if I do this, I this one, this and this is not equal already. Okay, so it's no. So answer is this. Okay, for this question, right, you have to visualize. Okay, the answer you actually gave me is uh, B. B is wrong. Okay, B is wrong. Okay, B is wrong. You have to try to visualize when this thing fall in. Can it be a corn shape or not? Okay, this it, obviously this and this is too small to be the corn shape when you fold it. And then this and this, I only left this and this. This is too wide to be a corn when you fold in. Okay, so obviously the answer will be this. You can try and uh, cut things out like that and you fold in and see that this will be the best shape because this, when you fold in this one, meet with this one, it will give you beautifully a nice coin shape. This one maybe will give you a coin shape but then this coin is too big. Okay? This question, the answer you actually gave me is C. It's wrong. Okay, let me explain to you why wrong. Maybe this is the first, uh, when you do all the calculation, then you come here and see this one makes sense and then you select this already. But then there are, um, if you have to notice it right, okay, we, we, we go through this question. Okay? Initially, they have the same number of cards. So, as usual, I like to draw the model. Okay. And then when this one give to this one. Oh, no, no. If this one give to this one, you'll have four times. So here is one. Two, three, four. Okay. So this is the one. Okay, so this is the one, huh? So it's asking, right? <coughs> if this person gave this person nine of his cards, then they will have equal. That means if I were to give this portion out and throw it here, this portion, and throw it here, it will be equal. Okay? So this person must give nine, and this person must give, must have. At nine, then you'll be equal. <coughs> so obviously, this one cannot be right. If this one is minus nine and this one plus nine, these two will not be equal. You know, minus nine plus nine, this is also not equal. But then this minus nine plus nine, yes, this may be equal. This is equal. And then, but then you notice that minus nine plus nine, this is also equal. So how do I select whether it's C or D? C or D. Very easy. Because I know that A, right, when I draw this model, A is four times more than N. Okay? So if in total, if I have to find their total, right, <coughs> and divide by five, I'll be able to know one cube is how many. So I can use this. If it's, if I think that it's C30 at 12, it actually give me 42. But then can 42 divide by 5? Okay, divide by 5 now, let's see. It's 8.4. It's actually 8.4. So this don't look correct, right? So I do this 39 at 21 equals to 39 at 21. I have 60, correct? 
If 16 divided by 5 will actually give me 12. And then this is the correct answer because it's give me a whole number here. And then you also fulfill the first requirement that when I minus 9 and here add 9, the answer is equal. Here is 30 and here is 30. Okay? The answer you actually gave me is 24. 24 is strong. I think maybe you only considered the top view. You didn't consider the side view. The side view also have uh, uh, faces. Okay? So how to go about the need? I just divide here. Divide into six portion, one portion. So it's something like this. Huh? So uh, like that. So if one portion like that, right, I can see from the top view here is one, two, correct? One, two. And then the top, here's the top. It's one, two. Okay, top is two times, there are six portion of it, right? Because it's 12. Okay, then you know when there's the top, there's a the bottom. Bottom is the same, 2 times 6 because it's 12, okay? And then now there's the side. The side here, right, you can see very clearly. How many are there? It's 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's uh, the side because the 4 times, um, how many are there? How many sides are there? There's one side, two side, three side. Four side, five side, six side. Okay, times six also. So six job twenty four. So when you add up everything, right, it will give you forty eight. Okay, it is not twenty four. So you must consider the top, the bottom, and the side. The side is looking from here. The bottom is your eyes must be here. Okay. Okay, for this question, the answer you actually gave me is thirty three. Okay. 33, you know. Uh, I actually gave me 33, is actually wrong. Let us see how we can go about doing it. The whole string is actually 990 centimeter. Okay, and every 15 centimeter, he'll put a pattern like this. Okay, so this is one pattern, and then this is another. Okay, until this whole thing, uh, I said this whole thing is what? 990 nine, cm. Okay? So in over here is uh, again 15 cm and 15 cm. Okay? 15 cm. <coughs> Until it reaches here. <coughs> so you see 15 cm times 1, 2, 3, right? It's 3. It will be actually one whole block for one whole pattern, uh, which actually is a. Uh, uh, 45 centimeter. So after 45 centimeter, the whole pattern re repeats again. So I will have this. Uh, it's uh, let's say 990 centimeter. This whole thing is 45 centimeter. Then 45 centimeter. Okay. Then I want to know how many 45 centimeter are there. Okay. So I take 990 divided by 45 centimeter. It will actually give me an answer of 22. Okay, so I want to know how many of these they are used. Because in one box, uh, that means I have 22 box of this, you know. I have 22 box of this. And one box, uh, I have one of this thing. Okay, I have one of this thing. So obviously, obviously, I only have 22 crystal that looks like this. Okay? Okay, we have to uh, digest this problem. Uh, it's actually very easy. The answer you actually gave me is a Saturday. Okay. Uh, put it here. The answer you gave me is Saturday. Which is wrong. Okay, let us see. Has to visit the doctor twice. Between his first visit and the last visit, second visit, right? It's 16 days apart. Okay, 16 days apart. So, uh, he said yesterday was Sunday. So, yesterday was Sunday. So today will be Monday, okay? So his second visit will be the day after tomorrow. Yesterday is Sunday, today is Monday, tomorrow is... Tomorrow will be Tuesday, the day after tomorrow will be Wednesday, day after tomorrow. 
will be Wednesday. So this is the Wednesday will be his second visit. Okay. And you know very well that the first visit to the second visit is actually 16 days apart. So how can I go about doing it? So from I, I need to come back right? from Wednesday to another Wednesday, you know one week, another Wednesday is seven days. Okay? Seven days. So you go back another one week, which is another seven days. And I already have 14 days already. These two up add up to be 14 days. I need to go back two more days. So here is Tuesday. And then here is Monday. So the day of his first visit is actually a Monday. Okay? So I think you are very confused over here. Yesterday was Sunday. So you know yesterday was Sunday. So this yesterday was Sunday. Then today, Monday. Then the day after tomorrow is after tomorrow, not tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. The day after tomorrow will be Wednesday. Okay, so that is his second visit. Okay, for this question, you actually gave me this, which is wrong because over here, right, you you have actually ignored the law of operation, the four orders of operation. When you see this, right, definitely you have to do your timetable first. So here will be 20, and then here 6. There will be 26 minus 2. We will only give it 24. We will not give it 42. So it's wrong. Okay? Even though they did not put any bracket, but then when you see a multiplication, you know that you have to do that first. So in order to have the largest possible, right, I need to, I know that multiplication is the biggest. I need to do that first. So I need to get the largest number into the multiplication. So how I can go about doing it is, I have like, <coughs> okay, uh, so I have to put my largest number, which is 6, into my multiplication, and then the second will be 5, okay? And then my minus, right, I must be my smallest number. So I, so if I minus the smallest number, then will give me a greater number, right? So this one I put over here 2, and then obviously this will be 4. So you know that you must do your multiplication first. 4 at 6 times 5 minus 2. Do this one first will be 4 at 30 minus 2. 34 minus 2 will give you 32. So this is the answer. Okay, for this question, you actually, you didn't attempt to do it. So uh, it's actually a very simple question. Let us run through, okay? So it says that... um. Pick four number, and then the mean of the number was thirty eight. What's the meaning of this? The mean, the meaning is the four number is A, B, C, and D, right? Okay, add, add, add. You divide by four because it's four number. You will get eight. Okay, so two of the numbers were seven and fifteen. So okay, then I will put this. Maybe I'll change this to seven. Okay. And then here is what because here says uh, two of the numbers is seven and fifteen, okay, and then two numbers were identical. Oh, these two number is identical. Good, so I can rub this away because it's not C and D already. It's C and C or D and D. Okay, so what is the value of the of each of the identical number? So it's very easy. So here is seven at fifteen. At two C right <coughs> four because it so what I can do is over here I want to get rid of this four so this whole thing I times four over here I also times four so this one cancel cancel will be seven at fifteen at two C plus thirty two okay so seven at fifteen because this two is the same number they are both number. Uh, so at 52 is 22, okay? At 2C, because 32. I want to remove this. I want to remove this. <coughs> so, I will remove this by here. I put here minus 22. Here is minus 22. So here, 22 minus 22 is what? It becomes 2C and here become 10. Okay, how I find this C, which is the identical number. 
It's very easy. Over here, I divide 2. Over here, I divide 2. So, C is equals to 5. So, answer is 5. Okay? Okay, this is actually a rather easy question. A very easy one. You actually gave me an answer set is 6. But I think you forget to do one step. Okay, let us go through this. Huh? Set 6 is wrong. You find the relationship. 1 has gun. Has gun, right? If it's 1, uh, how many dots do I have? Dots, I will have uh, 6 dots. When go to second has gun, I will have additional. I will have additional. Four dots, then I will have ten dots, right? If you see the pattern, you notice very easily that every jump for here is actually plus four. So the third one will be plus four for fourteen dots. So am I going to draw until twenty? No, because I have taught you a method that we can easily find this answer is what. No matter I'm going to find below, I know my top one. I use <coughs> 20 minus 1 will give me 19. So, 19, but then I know that every jump for below will is jump by 4. So, if every jump is jump by 4, how many jump will I have? If I have 4 is, is this, you will actually give me an answer of... Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. So, I know that every jump is jump by 4. So, I know that uh, from here to here is 19. Okay, from this thing onwards to here, I have 19, which is, let me draw below, huh? because it's below one. I have 19, and every jump is by 4. So I have to do 19 times 4. So it's actually 76. <coughs> but is this number 76? No. Because this 76 huh, is only when I calculate this as number 1, from this onwards. But then I need to add back this number here, because this number is... Is a continuous from this number, not continuous from this number. So 76, right? I add back 6, it will give me 82. So over here is 82. Okay? It's not 76. Okay, for this question, the answer you actually gave me is 65. It's actually wrong. Okay, then we see how we can go about doing it, right? Has some square colored, okay? Each stickers have an area of 5 centimeters square. This whole area is actually 5 centimeters square. Okay, then he stick another paper in the pattern shown below. You notice that every pattern that you put right, only this is a 5 centimeter totally exposed. And the one below is only that's one quarter of it, which is one quarter of here, is actually covered. So in this case, uh, the exposed over here for this onwards, uh, it's only 3 over 4 times. 5 cm as well. When 3 over 4 is actually 3 over 4, it's also 0 0.75. So you use 0 0.75 times 5 cm. You can find what is the area exposed. The area exposed is only 3.75 cm squared. Okay? So the area exposed, let me use green, is 3.75 cm squared. So only this one is totally exposed. Okay, then it says that we'll continue the pattern. Okay, and it is covered area of 80. So what, what, how do you go about finding it? <coughs> okay, so you know that the full pattern, the full pattern is actually 80 centimeters squared. Okay, so you also know that only the first square the first square is totally exposed, which is, I got minus the first square. The first square. Because only this first square is totally exposed at 5 cm cube, where else the rest is only 3.75. Over here is 3.75, 3.75, 3.75, 3.75. So everything here is 3.75. Only this one is 5 cm square. So I first minus off this three, uh, the 5 cm square. It will actually give me a uh, uh, 75, 75 uh, centimeter square. Okay, for this 75 centimeter square, I know each. I want I want to know how many of these covered do I have, because I know each of these three point seven five, right? So I seventy five centimeter square. I divide by three point seven five centimeter square. It will actually give me a value of twenty. 
Okay, so I have 20 of these. Okay, very obvious I have. In this case, let me draw here. So all these, huh? I have 20 of these. 20. And my still must add back this one here. So it's 20 at 1 equals to 21. Okay, I have 20 of that, which is 3.75. I still must add back the ones paper, this here, that is 5 centimeter square. Okay? Question, you get me the answer of 6 is strong. Okay, this is the answer that you get me. 6. 6 is strong. So let's just see how to go about doing it. As a cube, okay? And then the sum of the length of the edges is 1, 2, 0. So what are edges? How many edges a cube has? A cube has how many edges? Okay, let me calculate now. Huh? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So a cube has 12 edges. So if the all the 12 edges are add up to be 120, so 120 divided 12, which is equal to <coughs> 10 centimeter for per each edges. Per each edge. So here is like about 10 centimeter. Okay? And then she cut her cube into 8 equal size smaller cube using 3 cuts. Okay, so for this one, I want to cut it. So, but I need to know that what is the volume of this. If I didn't know that the whole edge, right, one edge, one side here is 10 centimeter, then here is also 10 centimeter, here is 10 centimeter. I can find the volume of the, of the cube. So it's actually 10 times 10 times 10 centimeter cube, right? It will be 1,000 centimeter cube. Because how many zero one two three? Okay, if I know that it's actually 1,000 centimeter cube, and know that, uh, because here it's already asking volume, I cut it into 8 equal parts. So 1,000 divided by 8. So it equals to 125 centimeter per smaller cube. Okay, using three cards. You don't care, but just know that it's eight equally sized. So I just divide with eight. Okay, so what is the volume of one of the smaller cube? Well, a small cube will be this. Okay. Okay, uh, for this question, you, you, um, the answer you actually gave me is six is wrong. Uh, this question uh, may be a bit tricky, but then it's easy to tackle. Okay, let's put this up. We have to put this flower into one of the first and cannot repeat, right? So I put a label the flower into what I call um, ABC. And then the flowers I will label into 1, 2, 3, 4. So how we go about doing that? So for flower A, right? <coughs> B, C, Flower A, I can put into fast number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, okay? So if I put into fast number 1, right? And then my B, I have to put into fast number 2. I can put my B, uh, uh, can also put into number 3, right? What are the possibilities? Then I can also put into number 4, correct? Right? Okay, let me uh, erase this so I can have a better... Space it out better. Okay, so here is two, maybe here is three, and here is four. Okay, so this is my combi combination. So for this, I have four bars. A, I can put into four bars. B, I can put another three bars. And then C, if I have one at A, B, then C will be, will be three or four. Only correct. If this is one, this is three. Can I put 2 in this case? Yes, I put 2 at C. And then the other one will be um, 4. 
because it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so here is 1, 4, then here maybe will be 2 and 3. Okay, so this is the combination for the first vase. This is the first vase. Okay, the second vase is also similar. You can notice that what I can do is here is what, 1, then here will be um, 3, and here is 4. And then when I branch further, when I put 2, 1, then here can, I can put what? Here I can put uh, 3, or here I can put 4. Then here is 2, then here I can put 1, and here I can put uh, 4, and here I can put uh, 1, and here I can put 3. So if you were to notice right here, I have four vases here. Every four vases I can branch into three. So here is times three. And then over here, every one of these, right, I can branch into two. So here is times two. So here is one. I have four vases. One, two, three, four. So every of these four branch, I can branch into three. Okay? So it's one, two, three. Okay, so an array of this I can branch further into two. So it's four times three times two. If you were to give me four times three times two, right, it would then give me a answer of twenty-four. Wait, I don't know what happened. Okay, the answer will be twenty-four. Alternatively, you can calculate for yourself. Here is like one, two, three. 1, 2, 3, 4. When you calculate everything, it will give you 24 also. But then it's more easy to find how many vars. One vars can branch into how many, and then this individual can branch into how many. Okay?